G'day, and welcome to Brian's Backyard. I'm Brian, and you're right, this is not my backyard. I'm just out past Nanagoon, heading back with a load of lucerne that we're going to use in the orchard. So we'll unload that, and we'll get stuck into some gardening. I'll see you there. All right, so we're home. Um, I'm just going to duck inside, get some gardening clothes on, and we'll, uh, we'll get this unloaded. Alright, so, I've got the ropes off, let's get this unloaded, quick smart. Alright, you beauty, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got a nice new seat looking out over the orchard. But we'll clear all this lucerne out and mulch it into the orchard in the next couple of weeks. Um, today we're going to finish off some of the pruning. So a couple of trees I've learnt not to prune in winter. Apricots, plums, peaches. Um, so we're going to finish off the pears and uh, that'll pretty much be it for winter. So let's go. This Packham's Triumph's the first pear we're going to get stuck into. Now the old bureau's been a bit up the putt lately. Um, I was keen as mustard to get out this morning and get that lucerne and now maybe we've risked it and the, and the rain's going to come in. It's also going to be pretty windy so I'm just going to get stuck straight into this nice and quick, alright? Now yeah, check that out, that's some fast pruning. Alright, look what I'm doing here is I'm basically cutting out anything that's vertical, anything that's too high or too wide so it's going to interfere with my nets, anything that crosses over each other and I'm keeping horizontal wood and I'm keeping bits of wood that have got spurs on them and that's where I'm going to get my fruit from. So what we'll do is we'll jump over to the next tree and I'll give you a couple of close-ups to show us what I'm talking about. So this is old mate that Speedy Boots was working on and then this is his mate next door. So this is a Bura Bosk, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it doesn't matter, beautiful brown pear. So let's have a close look, right? What I talk about when I'm saying spurs, I mean these guys here, here, here and here. This big fella up here, no use, get rid of him. All right gone now we'll pick that up in a minute now this stuff here this guy long thing not going to do anything where is he? he's crossing over don't need that out you come buddy now up here this has got some spurs on it but it's going to get too high now what do we got here we got some spurs here as well not going to really work out but we've got this little fella coming along so let's get rid of that here we go this guy's pointing away from where the net is going to be so bring the height down that's the idea. Now, it's getting windy. There's probably a bit of background noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock through all the pears nice and fast, and, uh, and we'll move on to a couple of other quick things before we call it quits for the day, because that is looking beautiful, but not like it's gonna hold on for me. Time for some more speedy boots. Onto the uh, Nashi Espelias. These are two of the most beautiful trees in the garden. They also have some of the best fruit I've got, so I'm going to take good care of them. this one let's have a quick scan of what it looks like before I cut it all right I'll be back all right and she's done what a beautiful tree so it's all just thinned out cleared up and done now that winds coming in 
So we're gonna move on, but all the pears and apples are done. We'll come back to the cherries, the plums, the apricots, and the peaches and nectarines when things start to warm up a little bit. Hey, so I'm gonna pass over to Paige, who's gonna give us a couple of quick updates on a few of the things we've done over the last couple of weeks. Before I do that though, top tip for today is after you've done your pruning on your fruit, fruit trees, get around with a, with a copper fungicide and give them a spray. Um, it's the open carts is where we get the, you know, the disease gets in and I always give them a spray and I always get a good result. So top tip. Hi, my name is Paige and I'm coming to you from the glass house. Let's go have a look. We put some of these plants in two weeks ago and some of them are really growing. I think that's our peas and some of our tomatoes. Nice one. Thanks. Let's have a look at these ones. Some of these ones aren't really growing. Give them a bit more time? Yep. All right, cool, cool. Hey Dad, we forgot about the snow peas. Let's go have a look at them. What do you reckon? Pretty good. Where's that one that we put to the side? Uh-oh. Yeah. No, remember? Stop growing. Oh, not that looking one. too good. Anyway, we'll give him a chance. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, there's one last thing I need to do today before we sign off, and that's grab a pumpkin to throw in the oven to roast up for dinner. This one's looking pretty good. Just the right size. I reckon it's gonna be amazing. And when it's done, winner. Thanks for joining me again on Brian's Backyard. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope that the wind didn't mess the sand around too much. Now, if you did enjoy the show, if you could do me the favor of subscribing, giving it a thumbs up and telling your friends about the show because I'm really focused on doing this. I'm getting a lot out of it. I hope you are too. So um, look, be good to yourself, be good to your garden.